Only red. Sparkle. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sparkle, what the Michael Watt did for the movie. Uh, we, we had a choice. At the beginning, we wanted to set it in the middle of Manila. So we had the choice whether to use um, modern, modern structures, which is mga Bonifacio High Street, you know, or to do classic Manila. We eventually decided to go classic Manila for texture and uh, siyempre ayaw parang hindi kuminsan nagmamatch yung pagkatumi ng tek ng aswang doon sa gitna ng mga clean lines of, of uh, Bonifacio, no? So we decided to shoot uh, almost entirely all the all the calle and the building shots uh, in Binondo. Uh, in the more untouched part of Binondo, which is mas, mas low-blow. We're not in China, we're not in Pina. Mas malapit oh, sa Pinso. Ipatong tondo na rin. Ah. Pero yun nga yung challenge yun. Can you just imagine shooting in the hearts of Manila? Oh, and isipin nyo ha, every day, our PM, isipin nyo lang yung staff. Binondo yan. So all the cars are outside the one. We need empty streets. So alas, umaga pa lang, kung gabi kami mong shoot, umaga pa lang, kinakausap na nila bawat store. Na, sir, mamaya pagdating ng seats, pwede ba tanggal na yung truck dyan, tanggal na yung ganito, para maklear yun. Tapos, all the, pag nakita nyo, wala kami mga, mga sumasabit sa dingding ng building. Those were done on location, ha? They were not come in. Hindi sila dinikip dun sa, sa building. So, in order to do that, we need to hire, hindi naman kami studio kasi, or totoong location siya. We need to get an industrial crane. How do you bring an industrial crane in an iskinita na parang ganito lang? At so, sobrang dugo talaga. And then, syempre, and, and we had a really, really mabait na barangay, ha? Kasi, binondo yan. But the Chinese are quite private. Ayaw nila naman ang gugulo sa kanila. Pero, we had a great time. Walang mga nagluloko, walang nang babastos. There are no crowds na malaki on the set. I mean, the beginning meron, pero after a while, nasanay na sila sa amin, magkala-kala ka. Gano'n gano'n na nga ako dun sa... Close ka, close ka na direto sa mga tao sa Bilbon doon. Yes. Question for the... Paano mo inaalis yung sarili mo doon sa story? Diba, after ng shooting? Kasi diba, pinake mo siya as long hours, long, long, long. So, paano mo inaalis para hindi ma-affect ko sa story? Malaking bagay that we developed it for two years. So, parang inside out, even with all the rewrites, inside out, we know what kind of film we're doing. Al alam na namin eh, pagpasok, alam na namin ni Tong, okay, seryoso ditong banda, ito, masaya to, ito. So, so parang, you're just executing what you've been thinking for the last year and a half. Diba? Na parang iniisip mo, ganito mangyayari, ganyan. Uh, ang mahirap, and I always, kaya ngayon, nag-iisip ako, hindi na talaga ako papayag na hindi ako kasali sa magsusulat. Kasi ang hirap talaga to go in, basahin mo yung script ng ibang writer, hindi mo ma... Kung minsan ang gusto niya, hindi mo alam kung yun pala yung gusto. Diba? So you need to constantly talk to the writer. Uh, unlike this one, Inside Out, alam na namin, when we, when we casted uh, Ramon ulit, we knew what role he was gonna do and anong klaseng kagaguhan yung gagawin nila, di ba? Ni Bogart. Uh, we wanted a highlight of his death scene again, no? Kung paano siya mamamatay, kasi yung una, dramatic yung death scene. So yung pangalawa, dapat dramatic din. No? Um, yun. Wala na nga no? Ako lang sa. Yes. Ay, direct na pansin ko sa trailer para kasi nagiging kinis siya sa mga horror. Yung mga POV, like, sabi na, in character nyo naman na siyang kamay. Magiging constant din sa mood mo. Yung, uh, yes, we have a whole, we have a whole sequence. 
uh, we're in there trying to prove the totoo yun as well. So they, they are looking at the CCTV camera. And then the characters of Ramon and Bogart explain na actually, pwede kong gawin sa cellphone yun eh. So they had to show, they had to make people reenact a scene and then ang ganda-ganda ng scene na yun. yun. And then, kailangan nila pakita na pwede nila mag-transform yung tao on just by phone alone. Uh, para siyang may app na paano. You know. uh, meron yan, constant yun. Yung, yung cellphone, cellphone, gano'n. Peggy siya. Ang parang in siya sa mga horror movies. Ay, parang found footage. Uh, uh, Ramon, may tag ka sa karakter. Nung nakita mo gano'n yung make-up mo, parang gano'n yung itsura ka. Hello? Uh Oo, -oh. may tag agad. Kasi <laughs> 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 si Jude. Kasi si Jude, parang kamukha niya yun. So, ginaya ko yung mga kilos ni Jude. Kasi si Jude, ang claim niya, siya ang bagong Paquito Diaz. Hindi ko na talagang kung may peg ka ba? Pangkal sa bigote. Meron, meron dyan? Yung picture lang din na yun. Ano yung poster ni Arian Ingers ito? Ginaya ko lang. Sa bagong 3-5 channel. certain stage kung saan nag-explore ako ng mga options kung anong direction pa nang tatahakin ko when it comes to yung mga roles sa pipiliin ko at saka yung mga gagawin ko sa kanito. So, uh, yun din ang perfect opportunity at time na nag-usap kami ni Direk Eric at saka ni Dong Dong in a restaurant din mga ati. At tamang-tama, they were brewing this idea, yung Tik Tik Tia Swang Chronicles nga. So, ikunento nila sa akin. Um, so, just everything just fell in the right place at the right time na yun yung tipong project na hinahanap ko at yun din yung project na ihinahain nila na nagahanap sila ng kapartner. So, hindi na wala na masyadong pag-iisip. Uh, doon mismo ay nag nag-agree na kami. At doon na nag-upisa yung kwento. Kaya hanggang ngayon, eh, nagpapatuloy pa yung samahan namin. Thank you. Okay, Derek. Si La Oropesa ba talaga ang perfect um, actress to portray the kubot? Oo, oh, at alam nyo, we, we take so much time to cast. Kami, ma, magkulit kami sa casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, diba? Um, with, with Joey, for example, I mean, he wasn't top of mind on everyone's uh, list of casting during that time, diba? Pero, we sought out Joey. For Lot Lot, for example, we already, we only know her as a responsible mother, di ba? Best friend lagi ng 
di ba? Mabait, na yak-yak, di ba? We really offered her a role that's out of her comfort zone. And she, she's really, really happy with it. Uh, ganun din, with, with kay Tom. Si Tom has always been nice. Nice little boy. Uh, love romantic lead. Di ba? But to see a side of him different from all the roles he played. So, with going back to your question, which is Elizabeth Oropesa, ang hirap na ngayon maghanap ng hindi masyadong gasga sa TV. No? And, and whenever you go for a Metro Manila Film Fest, kailangan mo ng kailangan mo ng um, parang wild card sa casting mo eh. Para makita ng audience, oh, nice, nice mix ah. Di ba? Hindi yung parati na lang nilang nakikita na okay, pag pag grandmother si ganito, pag <laughs> grandfather si ganito, di ba? Kami talaga, makulit kami sa ganun and we have, we risk a lot on that because alam namin bagay sa mga characters na yan. Elizabeth Oropesa, perfect, perfect siya dito. Uh, with her, with her very Pinoy, exotic na look, di ba? And her eyes express a lot sa eksena. Ma, ma, grabe, it, it was a fun experience. Thank you, Dana. Uh, it's um, it's a collaboration that will definitely be entertaining. Collaboration why uh, we explored all corners of this industry. Gaya nga ng sinabi ni Jun sa ni Ramon. Um, ang mga kasama natin sa industriya, sa internet man, sa TV man, sa radio man, sa musika man. E nagsama-sama para magbigay ng something new. When I say something new, uh, syempre we all, always and uh, siguro every year have uh, a menu and uh, a series of movies na ine-expect natin when it comes to the Metro Manila Film Festival. Uh, Siyempre kami, we also want to contribute at maparami yung options ng mga manonood natin. That's why um, through this collaboration, uh, we came up with something that will definitely be very entertaining for everyone. 